My name is Tristan Lari. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering and I'm from Shrewsbury, Vermont. I earned my bachelor's degree in both uh, electrical engineering and computer systems engineering from RPI uh, and I also went on to focus on uh, getting a master's degree at RPI as well and along the way I happened to stumble across uh, this project and, and a great advisor, uh, Gary Sellner, and, uh, and it, it was a perfect fit. Shortly after I joined the group, a company called Advanced Acoustic Concepts contacted us and expressed interest in supporting some of their um, through-hull uh, sensors, uh, passive audio sensors. And to support this, they, they needed high data rates and high power levels. And the, the fact that this company really wanted to say, well, let's, let's see how far we can push the limits, I knew it would not only push the limits of the, the system's performance, but also push the limits of my understanding of, of a number of different fields. It includes some vibrations, some mechanical engineering, some electrical engineering. Uh, and so just the opportunity to learn all of that uh, material, I, I couldn't pass it up. My research project consists of uh, ultrasonic transmission of both uh, information and power through solid metal barriers using ultrasound. It's the first system that successfully passes um, very high data rates and very high power levels through uh, walls simultaneously. For instance, a submarine or the fuselage of a, of a spacecraft. And obviously, drilling holes through, through these structures can limit their structural integrity as well as their environmental isolation um, and potentially put the people inside and the equipment inside at risk. Uh, the thickness of the, the material doesn't actually or isn't as critical as you might suspect. Um, the transmission of ultrasound through that material is, is almost lossless. It's very, very low loss. It's relatively insensitive to the, um, essentially the, the formation of the acoustic electric channel. So even if the, the metal block has rust on it or it's not perfectly flat, uh, and even if the transducers don't get coupled to the wall perfectly, the communication scheme that I used uh, can still eke a lot of performance out of that system. So I think my research really opens the door for a lot of uh, other potential research topics because it's, it really starts to take a look and focus on the underlying principles of these acoustic electric channels themselves. My strength as a researcher, I, I think, really comes from my um, curiosity. I, I never, I can never just look at a problem and, and, and only look for the quick solution. I always have to really understand what are the underlying principles, what are the underlying concepts, and, and not just understand how to solve that problem, but understand how to solve all problems like it. And uh, I, I really plan on uh, essentially pursuing some postdocs and then eventually trying to get a, a position as a tenure track faculty.